Welcome to Fun Fit From Home with me, MC, brought to you by Centre de Santé Communautaire Hamilton Niagara. So today I will take you through a full Stay Fit class. And just remember that even though you are working at home, you do want to wear a flat sole shoe with a non-slip uh, non sole. You want to make sure that you take breaks, respect your limitations, and modify movements as we go along. So for this first workout, you will not need any equipment other than a chair, uh, which we will need when we do our balance and strengthening exercises. So for the cardio portion, just make sure that you have a little bit of space to move around in um, that is free of any debris. So if you have anything in your living room or wherever you're working out, just make sure that everything is pushed off to the side. Ideally, you would be on flooring, but if you're like me and you're on carpet, just make sure that you lift and pick up your feet off of the floor as we move around. So also make sure that you have some water nearby in case you get thirsty and need to grab a drink. So we are gonna get started. Let's just get the music going first. All right, stand nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, reaching the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and march it out. One foot, so we're warming up the ankle here. Toes up and down. Relax the arms, let's add a bicep curl. Here we go. So warming up the elbows as well. We're gonna take it side to side a few counts. And side to side. All right guys, let's take this to the other foot. Tap up and down. Relax those arms. The bicep curls. Elbows in. And side to side. Alright, back to the march. Alright, option here. If possible, take it up on those toes. So you're going to feel that in your ankles. So still warming up those ankles. To take it up on the heels. If that's uncomfortable, feel free to stick with a regular march as well. Regular march. All right, hands up. Let's warm up those fingers. Tap the fingers one at a time. Open the hands. Open. Close. Stretch those fingers wide apart. Now keep the palms of the hands open, fingers together and apart. Okay, stretch those fingers. Circle out the wrists. Other direction. Relax those arms. We're gonna move to the shoulders. shoulders so a little bit bigger here. Keep the breastbone lifted even as you go forward. Other direction. All right, elbows up. We're going to go front and back. Front and back. Step touch side to side. Exercise. Shoulder roll right here. And a little bit bigger elbow up. Now full arm. Hamstring curls. Just 
the arms push down. A little bit more. Heel dig to the front. with the arms. You guys ready? Here we go. Roll out the arms. Other direction. Wide march. Back together. Elbows up and down. So working those shoulders a little bit. Push and pull. Push, pull. Let's take this to a step touch. Big wave with the arms. Remember, arms are optional. And back to the march. So we're always going to be back here. And then we're going to add a new move at the end every time we start over. So here we go. Roll the arms. Other direction. Wide march. Back together, elbows up and down. Push and pull. Toe tap, we're 
the arm to the front. So as you tap your toe, extend your leg back a little bit and squeeze your glute, your butt muscle. Reach it up if you can with the arm. If you prefer to keep going forward with the arm, that's okay too. Back to the beginning, march it out. Elbows up, roll it out. Take it wide. Back together, elbows up, up, and down. Push and pull. Push with the chest, pull with your back. Get ready, next move. Step touch.
fingers one at a time. to our chair. Okay, so you want to stand nice and tall with your breastbone lifted and you want to imagine like you have a little string at the top of your head and the string is pulling you up so you have perfect posture here. And we're going to lift onto the ball of one foot. So onto those toes there, heels off the floor. The chair is there if you need it. But if possible, try not to use it with the hands on the hips and we're going to look straight ahead. Now you can either hold this here, or to make this a little bit more challenging, you can join me and turn your head to look over at one wall. Keep your breastbone in the center. Back to center. And then turn your head to the other side. Nice and slowly here, checking our blind spot. And back to center, good. Heel on the floor, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So lift onto the big toe, chest is lifted. And we're gonna go ahead and turn our head to one side if we can. And make this a little bit more challenging. Back to center. And turn the head to the other side. And back to center, good. Both feet flat on the floor, so we feel nice and steady. Now we're gonna go back to that first foot, lifting onto the ball of the foot. Now this time we're gonna keep our gaze steady on something that isn't moving, and try to concentrate. And if you can, option to lift the foot completely off the floor. Now you don't have to, you can keep the big toe on the ground if you need to. We do wanna feel a little bit unsteady here though, so make sure that you're feeling challenged enough, but not too challenged. So steady your gaze, focus on a point, concentrate. If the foot needs to tap down, that's okay. Tap it down and come back when you feel steady again. All right, excellent job, guys. Foot down, we're gonna go to the other foot now. So lifting onto the big toe, option to stay here, hands on the hips, and we're gonna look at something straight ahead of us, something that isn't moving or focal point, and that'll really help us as we lift the foot off the floor. And focus. Just a little bit more, guys. Again, it's okay to feel a little unsteady. That's what we want. And the chair is there for you in case you need it. All right, great. Put the foot down on the floor. Now we're gonna do a little bit more dynamic balance movement. So we're gonna move as we balance here. So hands are gonna start on the hip, and we're gonna take a giant step forward with one foot, giant step forward, making sure the knee goes right above the ankle but doesn't cross over the toes. And now we're gonna shift our weight to our back foot, bending the back knee and lifting the toes of the front foot. Shift forward and shift back. Good. Shift forward and back. Now, if you want, you can add some arms here. You're pushing forward. Keep the chest lifted. Now, pull with the arms as you go back. 
and push forward and pull. All right, one more. Awesome, step your feet together. Hands on the hips, we're gonna go back to the first leg. And again, just the leg for the first three. And then we're gonna add the arms for the last three, doing the exercise a total of six times. So here we go, giant step forward. Keep your feet planted as you shift your weight forward and shift your weight backwards. So lifting the toes of front foot, heels on the floor. Shifting forward and back. Forward. And back, let's add some arms. Three. Two. And one. All right, step the feet together. So we're gonna work um, on our strengthening component of the class. So today we're only gonna use our own body's resistance to create our strengthening exercise. We're gonna start by working the lower body and then we're gonna do the upper body afterwards. And we're gonna start with our squats. So we're gonna bring our feet about shoulder distance apart, toes facing the front, arms are at our sides. And we're gonna have a seat in our imaginary chair. So you're gonna hinge at the hips, shift your weight back, and then bend the knees. And as you do that, you're gonna lift the arms, weights in your heels, and you're gonna come all the way back up, stand tall. Good. Now you don't need to go low, as low as I'm going. Just do the best you can. Even if you only go down an inch, that's great. And you wanna keep your knees apart, almost imagining like there's a ball in between the knees. All right, great job, guys. Four, we're gonna go to 12, but you don't have to do all 12. Five. Six, make sure you keep breathing. And as we go down, you wanna make sure that your weight is back so that your knees don't go over your toes. And seven. And eight, moving nice and smoothly. We've got four more, count back with me. Four. Three. Two. Squat's a great exercise because it works a whole bunch of different leg muscles here, all at the same time. And come all the way up. So for the next exercise, we're gonna work the outer thigh. So you're gonna need your chair for balance here. So you're gonna stand as close to your chair as possible, standing nice and tall. And the hand that's furthest away from the chair is on the hips. Abs are in, spine tall, slowly lift the leg to the side, keeping the toes pointing forward, and slowly come back down. And two, outer thigh, three, so here, the leg has a tendency to rotate out to the side, so we want to keep those toes facing forward. We've got eight more, or as many as you can. Eight. Now try to move smoothly with control. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and last one, and foot down. Of course, we have to work the other leg, so we're gonna go to the other side of the chair. So abdominals are in, hands are on the chair, uh, the hand is on the chair for balance, opposite hands on the hip, looking straight ahead, and slowly lift the leg out to the side. One, toes pointing forward. Make sure you keep breathing as you move. So I'm just gonna move over a little bit here. Three. Four. Outer thigh. Five. And six, keep breathing, keep smiling. And we've got six. Five. Four. Three, two, toes pointing forward, we've got one more. 
All right, awesome. Feet together. Next exercise, we're going to work the calves, so the lower part of the leg. So we're going to stand right behind our chair. So there's two ways you can do this exercise. Option number one is to have your fingertips here on the chair to help you with balance. Option number two is to have the hands on the hips, so this will challenge your balance a little bit more. Either way, you want to be close to your chair just in case. So lifting up onto those toes and slowly coming down. So option number one, you're holding on to the chair as you lift onto your toes. Slowly come down. All right, we've got 10 more. Option number two, hands on the hips. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right, guys, four more if you can. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, great job. We're going to widen your stance a little bit. So now we're going to move to the upper body. We're going to work our upper back muscles. So arms are going to be at the sides. You're going to lift your breastbone up or reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. And you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together at your back. Hold the position for a second here. So you're going to feel that right between your shoulder blades. And slowly relax. Looks like this. Two. Slowly come back. Remember to hold that position a little bit. Three. Chest is up. Four, we've got eight more. Remember, take breaks if you need to. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Three. Try to keep the shoulders down as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. All right, last one, gang. All right, relax those arms. Good. So for the next exercise, we're going to work the chest muscles. These two ways you can do this. You can bring your palms together with the fingertips up towards the ceiling. If that bothers your wrist here, you can turn your fingers diagonally a little bit. To, to help you out if you can't quite get your palms together. So elbows up, we're gonna squeeze, hold the position for a second, and release. So just remember that as you hold, you wanna make sure you're not holding your breath. So that's two, squeeze, hold, good. Squeeze, and relax, we've got eight more. Are you guys ready? Feel free to count along. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, we're gonna relax those arms. For the next exercise, we're still gonna be behind our chair. We're gonna work, mostly the focus will be on the lower back muscles, your back extensors. But this exercise will also work the shoulder of one arm and the glute of the opposite leg. So you're gonna be right behind your chair. So nice and slow, you're gonna lift one arm up, straight behind you, and the opposite leg is gonna extend back as you squeeze your glute. Now slowly come down. And again, so this exercise, we're actually gonna do 15 times on each side. So working a little bit more on the endurance, but remember, just do as many as you can. So that's three. So nice and slow, you're going straight back, four, Abdominals are in, five, so we've got 10 more on this side, 
six, seven, straight back, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, remember we're going to fifteen. 13, 14, and 15. Both feet planted on the floor, standing nice and tall. We're gonna go to the other side. And again, straight back. You wanna avoid going out to the side here with the arm and the leg. After and slowly come down again, up to 15, or as many as you can. Two. Three, four, five. All right, we've got ten more on this side. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Great job, guys. Both feet flat on the floor. We're gonna relax the arms. So we're gonna move on to an exercise for the abdominals. So we're gonna have a seat in our chair at the very, very tip of our chair. So for this exercise, you wanna make sure that you extend your spine from your hips all the way to the armpits. Your chin is gonna be slightly down, almost as if you were holding an orange or an apple in between your chin and your chest and your back is gonna remain flat like a board, feet flat on the floor. We're gonna cross the arms across the chest. Again, chin down just a little bit, like imagine that you're holding that orange or that apple. And keep breathing, we're gonna lean back with a flat back and we're gonna to try to hold that for 10 seconds. 10, nine, if you need to come up beforehand, you can, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back up. Whew. All right, arms down. We're gonna do that exercise one more time. So if you find that your back is rounding as you lean back, try to lean back just a little bit less so that you can keep your spines uh, long. You don't need to go back very far to get that contraction in the abdominals. So we're gonna cross the arms across the chest, tuck the chin in slightly, and lean back and keep breathing. And here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly come up and relax the arms. All right, great job, guys. So we are done our balance and strength component. The last component of the class is our cool down and our flexibility stretches. So just remember that you wanna, when you stretch, you wanna feel a little bit of tension in the muscle. But if you've gone to the point where you feel pain, just ease back a little bit so that you just feel a little bit of a sensation. So we're gonna start with our chest stretch. So we're gonna sit as tall as we can and bring the fingertips either right next to the temples or behind the head, chin down a little bit and elbows go back. Taking some deep breaths here. And as you breathe in, allow your abdomen to expand with the breath. Keep that breastbone lifted as you reach those elbows back. And you wanna feel this stretch in the chest from about here to here. Keep holding.
and relax the arms. Now we're gonna stretch the backs of the shoulders and the upper back. Interlace the fingers together, stretch your arms out in front. Again, take some deep breaths. This is kind of like giving someone that you like a nice big hug. So again, we're stretching those upper back muscles, the muscles in between your shoulder blades and the backs of the shoulders. Still taking those big breaths. Good, relax the arms down. And we're gonna stretch our glute. So we have a couple options here. So we're gonna start by keeping one leg bent with the foot flat on the floor, and you can either bring the opposite ankle on ankle and allowing the knee to fall out to the side. That's option number one. Option number two, if it's okay, and you can do so with your back nice and flat, you can bring the ankle on the opposite knee. So if you don't feel that yet, option number three is to press your chest lightly to the front until you feel the stretch in the glute. Now tuck your chin in slightly so that the neck is in line with the rest of the spine. Forward here, you're gonna come back up, we're gonna uncross the leg, and we're gonna do whatever we did on the first side, we're gonna do on the second side. So remember your option, ankle on ankle, with the knee falling out to the side in a little bit of external rotation, so the leg is turning outwards. Option number two, ankle on knee, again with the knee falling out to the side, and if your knee's a little bit higher than mine, that's okay, as long as you feel it in your glute. Lift your chest, and you can either stay here, or if you want to go a little bit deeper into the stretch, you can hinge at the hips, press your chest forward. Keep lengthening through your spine, though, if you're leaning forward. And if you're leaning forward, slowly come back up. We're going to uncross the leg, and we're going to move to our hamstring stretch. I'm just gonna to turn to the side so you can see a little bit better, but you don't have to turn. So here we're gonna extend one leg out here with your toes up, knees slightly soft. You're gonna take both of your hands and place it on the bent knee. Extend your spine as much as you can and imagine like you're pressing your chest forward here, hinging at the hip crease. So you wanna keep your chest proud and lifted as you lean forward here. Feeling a gentle stretch in the back of the leg, the hamstring muscle. And let's come up a little bit and do the same thing on the other side. Leg extend, toes reach up towards the ceiling and you're hinging at your hip crease. Hands are on the bent knee. Slowly come up, bring both your feet flat on the floor and we're gonna stand all the way up. And we're gonna stand behind our chair. Again, I'm gonna to turn to the side so that you can get a better view here. So your hands can be on the chair here to help you with balance. Feet together or slightly apart and you're gonna take a giant step back with one foot, keeping your toes facing forward. And you're gonna lunge into your front knee so your knee goes right above your ankle and your back heel is gonna press down into the floor until you feel that stretch in your calf. Now let's step our feet together and do the same thing on the other side. We're almost done our workout. Hard part's over. And feet together. And we're gonna reach both arms up here. You can gently look up towards the sky just a little bit if that feels okay on your neck. And we're stretching the abdominals here. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, breathe out. 
All right, great job everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in this workout today. And feel free to do it a few times a week so that you can get some movement in. And it is important, even though we are practicing social distancing, to get some exercise in to keep our muscles and our bones and our heart nice and strong and so that we can stay fit. So in the next workout, I will be taking you through a workout involving resistance bands. So if you have a resistance band at home, feel free to join me for the next workout. Remember, Sound de Santé is always open. So feel free to give us a call if you need anything. Thanks and have a great day.